Aoki. It is the 12th of April 2016 in the moon Machi Kapisaki Sum, the frog moon, the first quarter of the frog moon. And this is when all the uh, amphibians and reptiles come out, typically, and when later in the moon the frogs will begin mating. In any case, I've just received a phone call from security at the University of Lethbridge. Uh, there is at least two snakes that uh, they're keeping an eye on, waiting for me to get there. What I think is almost certainly happened is that uh, is that they finally they've located the den site. That's what I think has happened. They're telling me it's by the uh, by some of the stacks, uh, the, the smoke stacks um, on the sixth level. Uh, that is perfect positioning for it to be the um, at least one of the snake hibernacula, which we've never found previous. So I'm hoping that's it because there's a huge project is going to get get underway in less than four weeks, um, where they're making another building. They're built. They're 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 going to put up a science and academics building that's as large as the university hall so it's gonna be a huge thing it's right in the middle of the snake territory and um i've been really concerned that it's gonna roll right over the snakes but um hopefully this is the den site the snakes should not be leaving the dens yet not the rattlesnakes anyway um and given that there's at least two of them there that they're watching i think that's what i think that's what's gonna happen so we'll see when we get there I think uh, it's probably where the den is. That's what we presume. Like, yeah. yeah. They, they, there's the two that went in the hole, so they might be in there. Okay. Yeah, this is a den. Hey, no, if you're just quiet, you can come right here. No, hold right here. There's two in this hole. Yeah. And then there's one oh. under the tree. Oh, okay. they're both right there. Yeah, so. Um, there's one kind of going through this thicker grass. He was right here. He was right by the tree. And then there's two right here. Right. All right, so the issue is this is a den. And, uh,. This is where I'm supposed to relocate them to. <laughs> okay, so that was a den site. And um, in accordance with fish and wildlife regulations, we cannot mess with the snakes at that site. Um, not without a special approval from fish and wildlife at least so right now the university is just going to coordinate off um, lock up the east patio make it inaccessible um, or try to deter at least students and faculty from going in that direction um, but yeah there's a we have I have no authority to um, to pick up snakes from a den site like that so for right now, it's, it's just got to stay. And we'll see what happens with it. So I've come back. Um, over here to see how things have changed. The, the whole east patio here has been cordoned off, which is which is good. Keeps the snakes safe and keeps the people safe. There are uh, there's tape and barricades. It says uh, stay out. 
rattlesnake activity. Which is good because I just walked back there and there's a good sized rattlesnake right on the sidewalk. Um, the snakes are moving around. They're not going to leave the den site right away, but uh, it's going to be a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, hopefully, people will respect this site and not go too close. Right? Respect the, respect the snakes, the safety of the snakes. You know, everybody wants to see the snakes, um, but going to the den site is not the place to do it. The, uh, the snakes are going to be around here all summer, but just not at the den site. So if you want to see the snakes, you know, spend some time in the coolies and get to know the places and you'll, you'll see snakes. Um, but yeah, going, going right to the den, um, not a good, good idea. And especially just for, um, just for the safety of the snakes, you know, there's no, there's no real threat here. Um, of course a snake can bite you, but these snakes have probably been at this site for, for several years and we've had no incidents. They, as you can see from my video feed, the very first thing they do is get the heck out of the way when a human's coming around. That's their, you know, they're going to they're gonna try to remain unseen with their camouflage, then they're going to warn you and they're going to get the heck out of your way. The last thing they want to do is bite you. That's only going to happen if you're agitating them. So, anyhow, um, talk to Fish and Wildlife. I'm going to send them some images from here. And right now, uh, we are all in agreement to just follow the uh, regulations and protocol that these snakes belong here. They're protected species, and we are not supposed to mess with them at the den or or molest their den site. So they're going to stay here for the time being. <laughs>